Hi. You've joined us in the middle of a difficult operation. Now, this green train was brought in by Vernon. He recommended that we have a go at it. It's got a bit of a problem. It's lost its tracks. Now then, it wants us to get it back on track, but we think that that's the wrong thing to do because where do tracks lead? They lead to the same place all the time, up there, back again, up there, back again. We want this train to be able to go off-road and explore life because that's the only way you will explore life by leaving the tracks. It just needs a final bit of, bit of confidence, but also a bit of imagination. And this is how we do this. Good, now when the train is in this kind of situation, it needs very, very careful handling. We're going to put him in the recovery shelf. So if you don't mind, just coming with me. That's right, coming, that's right. Well done, well done, well done, well done, well done. And in. Good, and back. Excellent. There we are. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us again at the Story Emporium Repair Shop. Now, where is it? Just one second. Always, when you're dealing with any magic substances, make sure that your hands get nice and clean by special ointment, like Brooks. Would you like some? There we are, nice and clean. Nice and clean. Now, do not put that hand in your mouth, please. Um, <clears throat> got a story for you today. Um, would you mind ringing the bell again, please, Cecil? Thank you. We've got a story today. And the story is about... Oh, well, why do I tell you what it's about when I could just tell you the story? Ah, there it is, Cecil. The story is in the room. Thank you, friend. Thank you. <clears throat> Once upon a time, a long time ago, in fact, in the 1930s, in Ireland, in a place called Kiltegan, there was a little girl, and her name was Lily, and she lived in a very poor house, and her mother was very sick. And she went in to see her mother, and she said, Oh, mother, are you, are you all right today? And mother said, Oh, Lily, I'm in awful pain, awful pain. I want you to go over, hop over to the doctors. Will you do that? And will you get him to bring me the magic pill to stop me being in such pain? I will, mother, I will. Oh, Lily, that, that's a good girl. Now, do you know where to go? I think so, mother. Isn't it over the fields? You have to go over the field, Lily. Now get your little coat on and off your pup. So she put her little red coat on. Little red coat was paper thin and it was a cold day out there. So she went out of the door, uh, closed it to keep the warmth in, and then she hopped onto the road. It wasn't a very wide road, but she looked left. And she looked right, and she looked left again, and then she crossed the road. Why she looked, there was never any traffic on it. She got to the ditch at the other end, and she went down the ditch up to the ditch, and she got to the barbed wire fence. Now she opened up the barbed wire, and she went through, and she was in the green field. It was called the crow's field, because that's where the boys trapped the crows and hung up the dead crows to stop other crows coming. Well, she ran through the crow's field, and she got to the wall. Now, she had to be careful going up the wall, because in that field was a bull, Paddy the Bull. 
and he was an awkward customer, and he was an illegitimate bull. He was an outlaw. So you had to be careful of him. Lily looked over the fence, looked over the wall, and she looked, and Paddy was over in one corner, minding his own business. So she hopped over the wall, and she ran, ran through the field, until she got to the big bush, and that led to the buttercup field. And she opened the big bush, and she went through, and as soon as she got through the bush, she saw him. She saw the leprechaun. Now, Cecil, do you know what a leprechaun is? You don't know? Well, let me tell you. A leprechaun is a very small little animal. Now, people say he's got a nice little hat and he has a stick and a green coat and a long red beard. Nonsense. Balderdash. Codswallop. A leprechaun is something very, very old. And this particular boy had a spiky head, arms like wooden branches, and he was in that field, hopping around, spitting at the flowers. Lily looked, and she thought, I could catch that wee leprechaun. I could catch him. And she had a bit of chewing gum. She took it out, and she got her ribbon, the ribbon in her hair. She took it off, wrapped it round the chewing gum, and quietly made a lasso. She twirled it around her head and threw it at the leprechaun. Well, it caught on his spikes and she grabbed the other end of the ribbon and the leprechaun began to scream, What's going on here? I've been lifted! I've been lifted! Get, get, get off me! Get off of me! Well, Lily grabbed him with two hands. Now, you've got to grab him with two hands because if there was ever a slippy, slippy creature, it's a leprechaun. And she grabbed him and she said, I'm not going to let you go. I'm not going to let you go. Let me go, you bold girl. Let me go, you bousy. Let me go, you wee gunk. I will not let you go. All right, then. All right, then. I know what you want. You want the three wishes, don't you? Do you want the three wishes? Shall I give you the three wishes? Now, if you ever catch a leprechaun, do not accept the three wishes because he's tricky and he's slippy, and by the third wish, you'd wish you'd never met that leprechaun. Instead, Lily, being wise and as cute as a rat, grabbed her the leprechaun and said, No, I don't want three wishes. I want the crock of gold. Oh, you silly girl, you don't want the crock of gold. I do. All right, then. If I tell you where the crock of gold is, would you let me go? I will let you go. Okay. Now look on the ground. Do you see that daisy over there? No, not that one. That one. No, not that one. That one. Put your foot on it. Right. Do you see that daisy? If you dig up that daisy, you'll find the crock of gold. But if you dig up any other daisy, there'll be nothing there but bad luck for you. Okay, now you promised you'd let me go. Let me go, wee girl, let me go. She put him on the ground and she let him go. And he hopped off, skipping and laughing. He was laughing. Well, Lily stid ha still had her little foot on the daisy. And she got her ribbon, the red one, and she tied that ribbon around the daisy. Well, she'd know now which daisy to dig up. She decided to run home and tell her mum. So she turned around and she ran. She ran through the bush uh, that held her field into Paddy the Bull's field. But Paddy was way over in the other corner, minding his own business, the outlaw. And then she ran across that field, hopped over the wall into the crow's field. And she ran down into the crow's field, through the barbed wire fence, down the ditch, up the ditch, across the little road, looking left, right, and left again, and into her small house. And the mummy said, What? Did, did you get the pills from the doctor? No, mother. I, I found them. I, who did you find? I found the leprechaun. Oh, holy God. I... I feel so much better. Quick, go and get me the uh, the wheelbarrow. Put me in the wheelbarrow, and we'll go and find that crock of gold together. Don't forget to bring the shovel.
You'll need the tool. That yoke over there. There, put it in and we'll be off. And so they did. The mother got into the wheelbarrow. Lily lifted it up, went across the road, looking left, right, left again, down the ditch, up the ditch, through the barbed wire fence, and she pushed her mother up the crow's field till they got to the wall. Mother, miraculously, got out of the wheelbarrow, hopped over the wall, helped with the wheelbarrow, got back in the wheelbarrow, and Lily, she pushed the wheelbarrow through Paddy the Bull's field, who was not interested, and then went to the bush, and the mother went through the bush, and Lily said, I'm coming through, and the mother said, don't bother coming through, Lily. Why, mother? Why? Oh, Lily, you've been tricked. You've been tricked. Lily thought, oh, no. But she wanted to see. So she went through the bush and she looked at the... F every single daisy, every buttercup, every weed a bed had a red ribbon tied around it. It was no longer a green field. It was a red field. And Lily began to cry and she began to weep. And the mother said, oh, come on, pull yourself together. Come with me and we'll collect all the ribbons. So they untied all the ribbons from every flower, every blade of grass, every weed. And they piled up the ribbons in the wheelbarrow. Well. The ribbons piled high and high, and they had to put the shovel on and a couple of rocks just to keep the ribbons still. And they picked up the wheelbarrow and they wheeled it down to Balting Glass. And there's a little market there. And the people went past and the people bought the ribbons. And soon they'd sold every single ribbon. And you know what they got for selling all the ribbons? They got a crock of gold. And that is the end of the story. So, my dear friends, in future, if you think you've had a little bit of bad luck, wait on. Look at it from a different way and you'll find that your bad luck will turn to good. Cecil, say goodbye to them all. Bye-bye from the Story Emporium Repair Shop.